from the songvertree.com where we get grounded, take flight and sing. And today I want to introduce you to someone very, very special. She's an exceptional vocalist and a successful YouTube and recording artist and performer. She also does the amazing work of nurturing singers like you with voice teaching. A true advocate to the power of music and art to connect and communicate with people all around the globe, Songbirds, pull up a chair and join me in my chat with the beautiful Evan Hollands. Hi, Evan. So nice. Hi. <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you, Carrie? Yeah, I'm really good. Hey, how, how surreal is it that you're all the way in the US and I'm all the way in land down under in Australia and we are like, you know, having a drink together and having yeah, a chat. No, this is my, you live in my favorite, I think my favorite city on earth. Yeah, well, um, it is the best city on earth. We cruised around there when we were on cruise ships singing, and it oh. was our favorite city. Did you really? Oh, that's so cool. you got to come back one day. you got to come back I one know. day, and I will take you around to see the best things. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Now, Evan, it's just so amazing that, you know, you're taking the time today to, you know, have a chat with me and to share some of your, you know, um, you know, the, the things that you do in your life and what's going on and, you know, and I know that you're going to be a real inspiration. So I want to just start with um, asking you to just describe and tell us a little bit about your work and all the facets that make up Evan Hollands, because I know you do a lot of exciting things. So go for it. Anyway, yeah, you know, and I might forget something because I, it's just, I'm a mom, but um, <laughs> so I do a lot of different artistic things. Yes. Um, I would say actually my YouTube YouTube side of my life is kind of a secondary side, although I've right. started a weekly vlog. Yes. Um, yes. So on YouTube, I guess I'll just start there. Sure. But um, I do, you know, a weekly vlog, usually on a Thursday. Right. If I get my act together. Um, and then I try to release music videos. So um, I am a singer, and so I will do a music video, either live or produced. Um, I just kind of started getting more into the live thing. Just released my second live video last week. Um, so they're mostly produced music videos. We have a recording studio at our home. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, so that's the YouTube side. Yeah. And and then the vlogs are just me kind of talking about whatever I want to talk about that day, whether it's a parenting thing or, um, yeah, just anything. Just yeah. self-confidence. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows what, what whatever comes up that day. Or even movie quote challenges with my husband. So uh. all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Um, and then I teach private voice lessons. I've been yes. teaching for, yes. I think this is the third year I've been teaching, um, you know, kind of steady. Yeah. I had yeah. 16 students last year. I cut it down to eight this year. I'm taking the summer off. It's just, I am recently became a mom. I'm yeah, awesome. awesome. Uh, and he's so, so cute. Oh, gosh, thank you. He is the light of our lives. So, you know, <laughs> that takes up a lot of time. So yes. that's, and it's the best. So um, mm. kind of being into... That's kind of what I'm hoping to do this summer is just really be able to be full-time mom and then put out videos weekly. Um, yeah. And then yeah. I also direct for children's theater. Wow. So, um, I work with Oregon Children's Theater um, and Rose Children's Theater. I'm sorry. Oregon Children's Choir is another. I, oh, wow. <laughs> two organizations, RCT, OCC, um, just in my local community. Um, so like we directed Beauty and the Beast, I directed Beauty and the Beast with a few other directors this year, so wow. having an infant, we, we had a bigger team. Um, so just a couple shows a year, usually I direct and then I try to perform when I can, but, yes. um, like I haven't performed in probably a year. The year before I got pregnant, I think I did seven shows. So that was just the craziest year ever. <laughs> yes. So just a lot of artistic things, you know, as an yes. artist, usually you have to piece your piece it together. Totally. Teaching. And I teach because I absolutely love to teach. Yes. Um, yes. You know, it's just, it's really important to me that I still do it. Yeah. Um, one other thing that I've actually, I'm not doing next year, but I have been doing the last few years is directing a female acapella group. Of oh, high school. wow. It's like another thing um, yes, that yes. I really love to do, but it's just, yeah. you know, I have to say no to some things now that I'm a mom and yeah. wanting to balance that. And we're exactly. so lucky that we're able to be home. And my husband's yes. full-time yes. YouTuber, so yes. he's really 
he really provides and I'm just kind of doing all the, I mean, really, I'm lucky. I do what I really want and love to do. Fantastic. And, yeah. And yeah. I don't really work for free anymore though. You know, it's like, yes. I have to be paid as an artist. Of course. That's of important. Course. That's important. Yes, yes, yes. And we will talk about, uh, about that a bit more and get you to really give some advice um, in a minute. But uh, yeah, I mean, from listening to what you're saying to me, it really is a very eclectic, ec eclectic lifestyle that you lead. And I'm wondering, when do you sleep? Like seriously, Evan, like, <laughs> do you get any sleep? <laughs> you know, I we're such night owls, but you know, right. I cannot work till one and two in the morning when I have a baby that's waking no. us up at six and seven in the exactly. morning. So morning, exactly. like even last night though, I yeah. went to bed at midnight and he was up by seven and mm. that's that's tolerable, but I really need my seven to eight hours. Yes, yes, absolutely. And as singers as well, we, we can really feel the effects um, on our voice, right? As soon as we are tired or we haven't had enough sleep, that's it. You hear it straight away in your voice, you know? Um, have you found that? Yes, you're nodding. You're like, yes! <laughs> I have my water right now. Yes, and that's right. I have to be speaking to you up here. I don't always do that. <laughs> but, you know, Good vocal tired. health health tip, everyone. Speak a little higher when you're feeling tired. You you sound weird, but it's a little bit healthier than speaking down here in your bubble. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so Evan, I'm really curious, how did you actually get to this point, you know, of living this eclectic, creative life, you know? I mean, to me, you're, you know, you're an artist, but you're also a teacher and a leader um, and, you know, a pioneer of sorts and everything. So I just love everything that you're doing. How did you get to this point? Like, did you just wake up on one morning and go, yeah, I'm going to do like a billion things? <laughs> no, and I'm slowly, I'm really learning to say no to more things. But I would mm. say, yeah, how it all started. Mm. Um, I was working right after college. I got into, um, I wor worked at a nonprofit arts organization. So I was oh, already wow. working in the arts, which was great. Sure. Just kind sure. of an assistant to the developmental side of this educational school. It's actually a venue. I do a lot of shows now. Um, and right. Royal Caribbean was having auditions for singers on cruise ships in the same building. Ah, right. It's very weird. It was like this, it just felt very serendipitous. So yeah. I, on my lunch hour, literally took a number, went down and auditioned and I got the, Peter was gone, my then boyfriend was out of town, and he was, you know, singing with some acapella group, and he got back home, and I said, I think I want to do this. Yeah. Um, and yeah. going to be gone for eight months, because oh, I got a call about four weeks later, I made it through the audition process. Yes. yes. And um, anyway, long story short, I ended up going and doing mm. cruise ships. He mm. did propose before I left. He was very <laughs> smart. Ah. <laughs> I think that really that was the turning point for me. It was sure. I mean, I was, I was even though I was kind of working in the arts, it was still really like a yeah, yeah. It was I wasn't working for myself. It wasn't really mm. what I had envisioned. And doing cruise ships, it was like oh, okay, so I'm going to be full time working as an artist, like making my living. People will be paying me to sing and dance. It, this is happening. I guess Fantastic. You know? so yes. I didn't know what to expect, and once. Once I did that, I mean, I really, it was kind of, that was the decision for me. Mm. From now on, I will be an artist. So I wow, think Wow, okay. Yeah. I mean, and that was, that took me, that was almost four years, pretty mm. much four years on and off of that life. Yes. And I would come yes. back for four or five months. So couldn't yes. really get a job and would just like try to do shows or mm. whatnot. Mm. Um, mm. And then our last, yeah, actually that, that first year, um, I came home and got married and Peter was like, I can do this too, my husband. So we both went out and did three more ships. And wow. Um, wow. it was a really cool way to just see the world yes. and be an artist. Yes. So coming yes. home, it was kind of like, well, this is what I'm going to do now. Fantastic. Um, I love that that was the springboard for you, you know. Um, that's actually yeah. a really unique story. I love well, it. Yeah, it's an opportunity. Yeah. You know, you yeah. get an opportunity and you're being paid to do what you love to do. I mean, musical exactly. theater is really my love and oh, that's what I speak in my I, language girl <laughs> if I could full time do that I mean I probably would miss all the other stuff but you know I really yeah. love to perform and be on stage and perform live yes um and actually directing kind of fell into my lap mm. maybe a couple years after that you okay. know it just kind of I don't know how the opportunity even presented itself but it was well, yeah, it was a show that I wanted to do. Yes. And it was like, well, why don't I do it with all these youth that I work with that I, you know, have kind of started teaching mm. and I just had developed a community. And so I started directing like a review show a year that was a benefit concert for this children's theater company. Fantastic. And then it kind of developed into, I Oliver was the first musical I directed for them. Cool. And I had never directed like a full show. I right. Done a review, and I had cast like 63 kids and was like what am I doing <laughs> 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 just me and like you yeah know, but it had 
being great. It's kind of, I think that's part of it. And yep. Cox, if I've learned anything from my husband, Peter, yes. it's just always like, you just have to do it. You just have to start. That's and exactly. So, I totally agree with you. Ask me more questions. My name just... Blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. No, no, I love exactly. I totally agree with you there. Like, I think a lot of people I meet, and probably yourself as well, is you know they want to do something, they want to be an artist, or they want to you know even just like do a show or a record an album or something. But there's always just something that you know stops them, and and usually it is fear or whatever, right? And it's like it's just, just you. You just, just get in your own way. Exactly, right? exactly. So tell me more about um, what you learned um, being an artist on a cruise ship. Like what. What was, um, you know, one or two really sort of aha moments or whatever that you had while doing that sort of work? Um, I think one kind of silly aha moment is just really figuring out that I can, I need to, well, first of all, I need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> because I was in the role that Peter always had the opposite role. Like he was always smooching the other girl and they would just stand <laughs> and he always had the romantic big ballads and I was right. a singer dancer. So I'm like, right. Honestly, at one point they gave me, I was singing, um, respect yes. and I'm, sing, and I'm ponying around the stage. I was like, first of all, do you see me right now? Do you really feel like I can be belting respect and doing the pony all over the stage? And I just figured out, you know, like if I take a deep breath and I just like mm. stay grounded and yeah. just really, so I think honestly, cause when I came back home and doing a normal musical, I was like, this is a piece of cake. You know, yeah. I've been. I've been doing jumping jacks and singing right. at the same time, practically. Right. So that was big, you know, just really, I think I've kind of finally mastered how to breathe because yep. I think that was always a big issue that I had, just yes. tension. Yes. Yes. You don't have time for that when you're dancing. Your head exactly, on. exactly right. Now, it's interesting that you actually brought up that point of, um, like, the importance of being grounded. And, and, I would, and I would suspect that on a cruise ship it's even... Like physically speaking, it's even another whole nother, you know, ball game. But I'm, but I'm curious to know, yeah. <laughs> but I'm curious to know, um, you know, what kind of tips do you have for emerging artists in terms of staying grounded with their mindset and that sort of thing, you know? Um, yeah, because one of the things I talk about a lot on the Songbird Tree is that we get grounded. So, what does that mean to you, and what advice could you give to the emerging artist? Well, I would say that you know, two different points for getting grounded and I'm sure you talk about first of all just physically being grounded yes. you know just really feeling like you're breathing and everything you do is coming from your feet you know bend your exactly. knees it's like yeah. um, right. one artistic director I worked with said it's like gathering leads you know it's like when you take that breath it's like pulling it up from below you and just feeling really rooted into Ooh, the ground I like that yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you know that's the mm -hmm. technical mm -hmm. you know side of being grounded but yes. Yeah, I would say just as an individual, I mean, I feel like <laughs> I'm sure you, you've all heard this and we talk about being authentic and being real mm. and being honest and being your true self. Yes. And some people are like, oh yeah, 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 that's so cheesy, but it's really important. Yes. You know, you go in for a role, you go in for, and you, you try to morph yourself into what you think they want. Mm. Really what you need to be is true to yourself. I mean, yes, yeah. if you're auditioning for a certain role then you try to you know become that role but right. do it honestly and truthfully like what is that how would you how would you do that rather than how do you think they want you to be yes. um, and that's yes. with anything to be your own artist yes. Yes. you know when yes. I started my YouTube channel it was like well what's my branding gonna be and Peter was like oh maybe you should do a makeup tutorial channel or you know and really in the end I was like well I'm passionate about a lot of things and I just want to be an artist so I'm just gonna put it out under my name and just be able to kind of talk about and do whatever I want that feels honest and truthful to me. Yes. So, yes. you know, I really can never, I've never, I would say, put out a video that was like, that's not me at all. And that yeah. doesn't feel like that I care about or would talk about. Yeah. Uh, it's tricky in that, in that, yes. in this world and yes. in, in this industry. Exactly. You know, being a yeah. It's easy to yeah. kind of do something that you feel that other people want. And really you mm. just have to be true to yourself. And, yeah, and I love that. And that's one of those lines, like, be kind. Yeah. <laughs> treat people with respect. P treat people how you would want to be treated. There's so many people that get the job over the other person because they were kind and because they yeah. were, you know, it's just, if you're a jerk, 
you're not going to get as much work. Exactly. And, exactly. You know, exactly. there's just yeah. no room for it. There's no need. And I don't Absolutely. Need no, I love that. Yeah. And you know, and you are, you know, you really do practice what you preach um, when you, when you talk about being authentic and stuff. And that's what's really drawn me to you because you know, you really come across as someone who's just so honest and willing to bear your soul and bear your heart, you know, which is, I don't see that a lot, you know, um, and I and I bet if everyone watching this interview is just going to be so inspired by that, you know, so thank you for, I guess, bringing your heart, you know, and not not just trying to, I guess, please the masses, you know, because I think this is really important for, for artists listening to sort of go, yeah, um, that's where I should be starting. Um, and I want to ask you about motivations, like, what, what do you think? I guess, I guess, how important do you think motivations are for an emerging artist wanting to establish a career as an independent singer? You know, you mean just being being motivated and getting started? Is that no, what you no, mean? I mean like inner motivations of why they, you know. So, for example, you were talking about before about, um, you know, you could be motivated by trying to be someone that you think someone wants you to be, or you could be motivated by, you know, just going, okay, I just want to share who I am, that sort of thing. So, could you speak a little more into into that, and you know, how important you think the motivation is for an emerging artist trying to make it as an independent independent singer? Totally. I mean, I think really it, it starts with um, you want to do what you love. You want to share your passion. Yeah. So, you know, if if you want to, I mean, it's interesting. I feel like sometimes as an artist, it's like, is this selfish? Is I'm just, I love to sing and dance and I want to sing for people and I'm a ham. And so, you know, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Um, but I feel like a lot of us also want to make a difference and influence, you know, I mean, yes. music and art transforms lives. And Absolutely. So, really inspire so yes. you know even just you sharing your passion with the world I mean that's inspiring enough so yeah you know if your motivation can it can it can be selfish it can be yep. it's all about me wanting to express myself yes um, but I feel like you know it's yeah it's important too am I putting what what am I putting out is it positive is it um, yes you know will it affect people in a positive way I think that's important to think about yeah um, and then yeah am I being real and true and honest with myself um because yeah, it's tricky. It's like there's so much art out there that um, that doesn't feel yeah that feels a little bit false. Yeah, and yeah, um, you no, know, but it's doing well. Like I look at the sure. charts and I try to pick songs from the billboards, and yeah. I'm like, I don't rap. <laughs> you know, and I and I have a fairly family friendly channel, and um, yeah. so there's lots of you know. It's a whole other discussion. For yes. A whole other day. yes, yes, but you know, just there's a lot out there. Um, no, I know what you mean. The appropriateness yeah. of the content. I mean, yes. that's all for you to decide. Yes, and if yeah. that's real and honest to who you are, then yeah. do what you believe in. But sure, you know, sure. If, if you believe it, yeah. we believe it. And I yes. say that to yes. my singers yes. all the time. Like that's great. If, yeah, if you believe in the if message, you believe then. It, then we believe it. I really like that. You know, self. <laughs> what, what did you say? Which is why you need to believe in yourself and yeah. believe that you can yeah. achieve what you yeah. what you want sure. to achieve. You just sure. have to work hard. Exactly, exactly. Work hard. And I think that's really important, obviously. Like, um, it doesn't just happen overnight. And, you know, sometimes when we're watching some of those reality TV shows, like The Voice or, you know, um, X Factor or whatnot, I think there is a bit of a false... Um, I don't know, kind of message that comes across that, yeah, we can all, you know, just overnight. And it's and that's what people seem to be aspiring to. But at the end of the day, it really is about the step-by-step, -step, little baby steps and just hard slog, right? So, oh, totally. <laughs> um, and I know that you've work, walked that path, you know? So, um, and so just um, continuing on with that whole theme of the motivations. And for, so for you, it's really important that the artists just have integrity and really, um, express from a deep, you know, part of themselves and really be themselves and put something positive out into the world. So what do you say about, okay, you know, everyone who, who, who goes, but how do I, how do I make a living? You know, how do I actually put food on the table? Do you have any, any insights there? Cause I know, you know, um, you, you've got ways of how you make a living through all of the different things creatively that you're doing. Would you be able to give us some insights into what you do and some advice? Yeah, I mean, I think at first you have to do everything. Yeah, uh, you have to, or tr just try. You know, try. You yes. have to. You know, I mean, if you can, if you want to be an artist and you want to just do that full time. Yeah. Um. You know, just start piecing things together. What are all the abilities that I have? Like, what? You know, maybe sit down and write it out. I'm able to. I I can probably direct or teach or you know I mean, 
if you don't know how to teach, maybe don't try that first. <laughs> yeah, there are too many singers who don't actually love to teach, but they're teaching. Yes, <laughs> that's another discussion for another day. <laughs> too yeah but yeah I would say I mean by piecing things together is how it starts you know yeah. just trying to um and even maybe so do you mean like experimenting do you do you, do you sort of mean by experimenting with different things and kind of finding your path totally I mean yeah. yeah I think like in terms of if you if you're scared of singing live but you want to be an artist I mean you've got to get out there and try that so exactly. you can start singing at your local coffee house I guess these things at first aren't getting you paid, but in the end, you know, there are some things. Maybe you do carry a day job for a little while yes, while you, yes. you know, get traction going at yes. night. I mean, frankly, though, I have to say, like, if you want to be an artist, you really need to become digitally accessible. Exactly. Um, exactly. You know, even if there's so many artists that are like, well, I just want to tour with my bands and coffee houses. Mm. Um, and I don't really believe in the digital format. I don't yeah. know that many people say that anymore, but that's just not really realistic if you want to make a living. And, no. yeah. you know, I mean, if, if you want, if you want to be able to make a living, you really need as many people as possible to see your work and your art. So yes. where do we do it? We put it online. And yes. even if you're going to, I say this to my students a lot, you know, even if you want to get into college and um, you know, you're thinking about Broadway or whatever, yeah. you know, it's still like an online resume. Yes. So really, you know, just start it. I mean, I it's YouTube is where it's at. It's the second biggest search engine. It's Google, then YouTube. Exactly. So, exactly. you know, just start posting stuff. And it doesn't yeah. even have to be, you know, just put a camera in front of you and start singing. Yes. And I'll yeah. tell you, you will learn so much about yourself as an artist, too. You know? Yes. It's just like, are you kidding? I mean, I tell my students all the time, you've got to watch yourself. Yes. First of all, yes. start listening. And then second of all, watch yourself so you can really, um, you know, start gaining that self-awareness and yes. giving yes. yourself feedback. And yes. So it's I love a lot that. Yeah, yeah. The, and that's that's very practical advice. So, are you able to take us a little bit deeper into, I guess, the way that you use YouTube and other online platforms to to make a living? People really, that's a big question too. Like, how? I don't get it. How does that work? Yes. And yes. Honestly, I mean, I know just the tip of the iceberg, which mm -hmm. is probably, you know, I'll just give you kind of a basic overview. I mean, yeah. it's a great start. Yeah, as musicians. Uh, so posting my videos on YouTube, the ad revenue that comes from that, because yes. YouTube just is posting ads and you're able to collect a little bit of ad revenue, but that yes. is like cents. Yeah. So that really isn't, I mean, unless, you know, I, and I'm not getting millions and millions of views. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's, it's a really small amount, but sure. I would say iTunes is really, you know, sure. if you can sell your music, that's yes. big. Yes. Um, and really anyone, we use a really great platform called Louder that I yeah. highly recommend and they deal with all the publishing and licensing and all ah. so making sure you know because i'm doing cover music mostly i don't really do any i have not actually done any original music sure, sure. um so that's nice and then yes. your music is going out to be able to sell on ladder and on itunes and amazon so um, ladder is just another platform is it similar to itunes or it is yeah. and right. it's just better for the artist the artist gets it's just a really, oh, you know, it's a better system platform. Cool. And it's so great. You could, it's like the easiest four steps, you know, and you <laughs> upload your cover art and then they right. take care of it. So you know oh, that, you know, you're cool. dealing with something legal and cause yes. it's a gray area. Once you start posting videos on YouTube, yeah, so, sure. you know, it's, it's an, yeah, you have to be careful. Right. Um, and then I would say Patreon has really changed yeah. our lives. Okay. Yeah. Tell so us more about that. Help seen me talk a little bit about Patreon and yeah. that was a site my husband you know he yeah he's like a hundred percent in this this business I guess you'd call yes, it I don't yes. know what you call it the YouTube world yeah 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 he's doing this full-time like this is his gig okay. yeah by so, the way everyone we're talking about Peter Holland <laughs> in case in case people are like who's her husband we don't know yet <laughs> you know? <laughs> YouTube celebrity in the house yes <laughs> he um so he like the day first or second day patreon started he contacted jack conti who's who's part of a group called pomplamoose and they're pretty big on youtube right um but jack started this platform and it's basically think of you know hundreds and hundreds of years ago when patrons would pay artists yep to create a work for them okay so that's the idea why it's called patreon that you that you establish patrons mm -hmm. and on them monthly or per artly basis that's a weird way to say it but like let's say every time I release a music video yeah my patrons have pledged a certain amount yes. of money yes um yes. they're paying me for my for my art so it's really great so let's say you know you're really into 
this band and you say, you know, I feel like I could afford a dollar a month. Mm. So if they put out a video once a month or I just, you can cap whatever amount, I could do $5 a month. Yeah. So, um, you, so you the know, person so gets to decide. decide. The, patri- the patron, the patron <laughs> gets to decide uh, how much exactly. they want to support the artist per video. And so it's like or... the coming from my supporters. It's, so it's such an amazing platform. Yeah. And it's very transparent, which is really important to cool. us. You know, you can go onto my Patreon page right now and even yep. see it. I think it's like 200 backers. So yep. 200 yeah. people have decided they're supporting what I do you know, on a regular basis. So every time I release a video, it's like $1,100. I mean, that. That's so awesome. think about that. I mean, even if you, if you gained 10 people who really wanted to support you, yep. Um, yep. you know, you could really start. I even have a few students who are like, this is my summer job. My mom told me, like, this is how I'm going to start. Wow. Well. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. I mean, you know. What I say is if you have friends, you have fans. Yeah. And that's so true. You know that oh, that's if, good. If, if you sing in your local community or yeah. if you sing for your family, yeah. I mean, you've got at least a couple of people who are going to, you know, start, <laughs> you know, your mom or dad is going to get on there and pledge a few dollars. And, yes, yes. And you kind of develop your community and you say, hey, if you'd like to support my work on a regular basis, go here. So mm. that's been a game changer for us. And yeah. Because of course, Peter has a Patreon page too. And that's it's fantastic. been pretty amazing. So you find that people are quite... um open and generous to to supporting you I do and yeah. people are very, and it's also it's really great to be just very open and honest about it yeah you know yeah because it's like I see what they pledge they you know so right. I it's all published to... isn't it it's all published for people to see yeah it's right nice. and then and then a lot of patrons will say sorry I you know this is as much as I can give now hopefully yeah. in the future and it's yeah. like are you kidding like like thank you <laughs> A dollar? I'm so happy with that. It's just, it's kind of the next level. And, sure. But then the cool thing is, too, like, all the stuff I'm doing online is free anyway. So it's like, yes. you know, if you'd like to support me, yes. great. Right. If you, option, yep. if you can't afford it, yeah. you can still enjoy my stuff. Okay, sure. So it's it's really, it's the content is the same, but you're just making it available for free for those who can't afford to support you or whatever. And then for those who really want to, you know, really want to see you flourish and really want to get behind you, that they actually get to take ownership in, in your career and, and in and supporting they, you. You obviously give a little something back. They, right. You, know, you rewards. So, okay. You know, for certain patrons um, yep. that plus yep. a certain amount. And I mean, yep. you know, so there are things like I recently posted a sneak peek of actually the full a full song that I did at a live concert just yes. for my patrons so yes. it yes. wasn't public so ah, sure. it's a neat little way to do it and yeah. then there are other little like I give karaoke tracks to five dollar patrons and you know so there's different oh I um, see yeah for yes. and it's all there to it's see. all there so, right yeah oh, okay yeah no I love that system and I just love the fact that now you know artists don't necessarily need to you know be signed or whatever in order to make a living like in the past where you needed to get through a gatekeeper now you're right. like, eh, I can do it myself, you know, and I think the internet's so proponents of that, isn't which is it? What Peter just signed with Sony in October, but you know, he like more than anyone, he would say, ah, like be independent, you know, you don't yeah. need a label, and yeah, that's a whole other discussion for another yes, day. It is. <laughs> it's, been, it's been, you know, it's been difficult. So yeah. you know, it's really like you can do it yourself. Yeah, you really, can do it yourself. Yeah. So, um, I, so to, just to summarize your, your pieces of advice for the emerging artists, get out there, even if it's starting at your local coffee shop, just, just get out there and sing. Um, but at the same time, get digitally um, good as well and start putting yourself out on YouTube and, and Patreon's a really good platform too. So I'm going to have all the links down below everyone. So, uh, you, you know, you don't need to worry about trying to remember all these, all these things. Once you decide that, once you realize certain things, maybe your YouTube channel is not flourishing because you can't be as consistent. consistent. Which that's, so that's, that's important. Easy. Yes. That's really important, with yes. especially the digital presence. I mean, if you yes. put out a video, everybody loves it, and then you hang out for three months, yeah. it, you know, people may lose interest, and it. it's that's hard right. to kind of regain that traction. Sure. So I would say your digital presence is probably your most important if that's you're key. trying to, you yeah. know, really make a thing and establish yourself. Yep. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's really great to be active in your community. And I think that's so important, mm. but those things probably won't mm. pay the bills as easily. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah. But I was, but where the opportunities are. Yeah. Yeah. I it really, it's, it's, it's all about, I mean, you can completely kind of control, mm. I think your destiny and, and what's, 
what's in store for you if yes. you really start developing a significant online presence. So yeah. even yeah. I am still, I mean, it's been a couple years and I'm still just figuring out kind of how I want to yeah. have like vlog, live music video vlog. Yeah. And then yeah. Even, and I haven't even done that yet, but it's just sure. kind of like constantly yeah. worked towards something consistent. No, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Because I think we evolve as well, don't we, as artists? We can't really project what we're going to be in five years or ten years' time accurately because we evolve as we do it, though, right? Like I always um, – somebody else has said um, somewhere online, it's really inspired me, is that clarity comes from taking action, not from thinking about it, not from just saying, oh, I want to do this one day or, <laughs> you know, you just got to do it and you, and you don't have to wait till you're perfect. You just do it. So important. Yes, yes. And then, I have – the pianist that I work with, like he, you know, he has a complex about it. He wants everything to be so perfect all the right. time. And it's like, <laughs> the other night he came over and sat down and we did a Periscope session. I don't know if you've heard of Periscope. I have, I have, but I don't know much about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so they just like a live stream. So uh -huh. we just started, you know, it was just a live feed and he started playing what people were requesting and uh -huh. he was just playing these incredible pe I mean, Coldplay and then he'd play yeah, a song yeah, yeah. and it's so gorgeous and yes. I afterwards I was like, I'm mad at you. <laughs> you take too long to put stuff out and look at you. You're able yeah. to just sing so quickly yeah. and beautifully. Yeah. And it's you know, a lot of people say, Well, quality versus quantity. It doesn't always have to be about that. I mean, mm. yes, put out put out good quality and put out what represents you. Yes. Don't just throw something together to get yes. it out there. Yes. But yeah, don't work don't worry too much about it being absolutely perfect. I just put out a live video last week and yeah, like there's some flat notes, but mm -hmm. you know, it's just, and it's really in the end, it's all about the truthful, exactly. honesty, and passion behind it. And that's like, right. That's right. Yeah. No, I love that, Evan. I mean, I love that you don't, that you actually don't, you know, worry about being absolutely perfect. Like probably you might be going, you know, oh, but doesn't matter. Put it up anyway. But I love that because that gives everyone else permission to not put stuff out there because I reckon that's what the number one thing. Pardon? How about Adina Menzel had that whole quote yeah. about, she got all that flack about that note. Yes, yes. And no matter what you think about that, it's still yeah. like, it's so true. You know, she's like, if I get 75% of my notes right or something in a show, it's yeah. so funny. But yeah. she's such an actor. And yes. honestly, even with students I work with who are not yeah. in the musical theater, I'm yeah. such an, you know, I'm yeah, such yeah. an actor, yeah. actor person. Yeah. But, I'm not, but you need to tell the story. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, even if it, if it's if it's a song that you wrote, yeah. I mean, I mean, share it. I totally That's agree. Just like I'm singing now, yeah. and so this is my singing face, and this is what I do. <laughs> like, let it, let it come through. Let it you know shine out. Yes. And yes. Just, no, you know, I love touch that. people even more. Absolutely, and I think you know the most flawlessly like technically amazing voice will not move, if it doesn't move people. You haven't done your job as a singer. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if there's a couple of flat notes, but if you've really connected and given it out as a gift, then yeah. your audience are going to love it and they're going to be moved, which is more important. Yeah, I agree. I always, you know, it, and it helps with all our technical stuff as voice teachers. Like, yeah. you know, with our posture, it's like open heart and just let it, you know, let it be. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just important to it be able to express yourself as an artist. I mean, that's kind of why we do it, right? Of I mean, course. we express ourselves. Yes, exactly, exactly. So what do you have going on right now? Like anything that you're really excited about that you'd like to tell <laughs> um, songbirds around the world about, Evan? Yeah. One thing I am excited about in January, yeah. I'm going to do a live production of the last five years. Oh my goodness, I love that! <laughs> I guess to that and Peter just rolled his eyes, but then, you know, he was like, oh, it's going to be great. You know, I know you love that, but you know, oh, he's like, oh, that's the best. You're going to say no to things. I'm like, <laughs> Not, not to that. No, that's okay. like the. It's got the best music. I just love it. It's so it's unique. Fun. It's two characters, but it's just the best. best yeah. One of the best no, productions. I'm excited about that. And Nathan, oh, that's very cool. Nathan Aliff, who I keep talking about Nathan too. He's the guy who does a lot of my arranging. Yeah. He's a music director, so you uh -huh. know we'll just arrange our schedules around. Yeah, schedules yeah, great. cool. Well, what I'm getting, I'm getting the um, impression that you also collaborate with, you know, a lot of people. And of course, I've seen your videos like with the piano guys and you know, other other uh, artists and that. How have you found the opportunities to actually collaborate with amazing people like that? You know, I'll give the advice that Peter gives because he's really the one that collaborates. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I just. Luckily, have friends and some connections, but um, you know he really seeks out collaboration and yeah. he catches collaboration. And so I'm a firm believer in collaboration. Just oh, kind totally. Of what I've learned, but what I would say is, if you want to collaborate with someone, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's the, it's what we call the value proposition. You say, hey, 
you know, I really want to work with you, and you may be a movie star, but I'm going to show you all this value. I'm going to um, record, edit, produce. I'm going to right. create this beautiful track. All uh -huh. you need to do is sing on it, and yeah. then um, yeah. my video team will fly out to you, or whatever you need to do. You kind of yeah. you kind of lay out um, you lay out all the value you can offer to yes. them. And yes. Then, I mean, so it has make to it easy for them as well. Make it easy mm. for them as well. I mean, I guess that's. That's advice if you're wanting to work with someone who you feel like is at the, kind of the next sure, level sure. of you and you're hoping yes. to get that opportunity. That's right. But in general, like collaborate with friends and people that you know, yeah. hey, like that guy does video editing and that person likes mm. to film or they take great pictures. Mm. Like maybe they can do my headshots and maybe I could give them a guitar lesson. Or, yeah, you know, that's so great. It's, yeah. yeah, it's about that exchange too. And yeah. I mean, why compete against each other when we can all build each other up and work together? I love it. That's fantastic. Well said, Evan. Well said. No, but I love that because I've, 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 if there's something I've learned um, in terms of living this creative life is that you just cannot do it alone. You just can't do anything great by yourself. Um, so getting out there and actually just linking up with other people is really crucial. But thanks for that uh, really practical advice of how to actually reach like people who are, you know, just bit further yeah. along in the journey because that's really important because I think a lot of people sort of feel like oh, I wish I could work with this person but they would never want to take notice of me you know why not just ask just you ask. know yeah what's the worst thing that can happen they'll ignore they, your or say no which will probably happen yeah and yeah you 10 more times you email them yeah <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> yeah so there, and then you're on the cover of time magazine and but you're like sorry you should have collaborated with yeah me. yeah <laughs> maybe cool. use rolling stone that's a little bit better yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, so where can songbirds around the world go and find you, Evan? Could you, um, yeah, tell us about all your links and all your different places where we find you? I don't even know them. No, I do. <laughs> it's just YouTube.com and yes. it's Evan Holland's Music. And Evan Holland's Music? It's very weird, so. Yeah, cool. It'll be all the links down below. Yes. And, oh, and I'm, I'm on Patreon. Instagram. I'm on, and it's all just my name. My name is very unique just with the spelling and the yes um, so, we'll so it's basically everything else is evan hollands um, yeah. facebook is evan hollands music yeah i'm on in, i'm on twitter and it's yeah. just evan holland so cool. it's just my name yeah. yeah that's just kind of how and I patreon as well yeah patreon yeah. is just patreon.com backslash yeah. Me. Awesome. Yeah, cool, cool. Everyone, go and check out um, Evan's links just down below and go and check out her music. It's it's really great stuff. And support her on Patreon um, if, uh, if if you feel like you can afford to and would like to. So, Evan, thank you so much for your time today. It's oh, just been yeah. such an amazing experience to meet you and to chat with you like this. Thank you for your heart and your generosity in sharing all of your you know life insights. It's, it's just been amazing. Thank you. It's so fun to talk with you. I think we could do this for another hour. I know! <laughs> Everyone would be like, stop the interview. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much again. And um, yeah, we'll definitely, um, we'll definitely be catching up again soon. Yeah, I would love that.